Welcome back to another, it's me Cameron Camscott and welcome back to another daily Chelsea transfer news video where today I'll be talking about Chelsea completing the signing for Noddy Malawake, of course Casey the latest and who's going to be our next midfielder along with breaking down Chelsea's game against Liverpool that just finished about 30 minutes ago so without further ado if you're new I'm Cameron Camscott and I do daily Chelsea transfer news videos 80% of you who watch my videos aren't subscribed, you'll get the number down, that'd be great. But without further ado, let's get on the first story. Now, starting off with Noni Madaweke, and of course, he was announced last night around 9.30pm, and I've got a quote here and a story from Chelsea itself, but just to break it down, the 20-year-old right-winger from PSV signed for £30 million, which is pretty decent. As the story goes on, we'll know what his wages are, but seven and a half years with an additional year on, which is great. Fits the mould, can't wait for him to play, but without further ado, I'm going to go to Chelsea, who have said, Noni Madueke has joined Chelsea on a permanent deal from PSV Eindhoven. The England youth international, one of the most exciting new young talents across Europe, has penned a seven and a half year contract with the club, option to extend for a further year. So, option to be eight and a half years to take into his 28th birthday. He, when he's in his prime, hopefully will make that money back. I'm going to go to a quote from Noni Madueke himself who said, I'm really pleased to sign one of the best clubs in the world in Chelsea. I like to get on the ball and be exciting, take players on, beat players, create a lot and score. And as all Chelsea fans, when we see a new player, we go to their compilations on YouTube. So of course, you know, show them to be the better player than they are. But it's very exciting how he dribbles at the ball, takes on players and uh, has played very well for PSV and hopefully can bring that to Chelsea. But just to round it off, very exciting player, can't wait to see him. Anyway, on to the next story. And with Noni Madueke done, it's now pushing on a midfielder and uh, that midfielder could be Casado. We'll go to Fabrizio Romano first, who said, Chelsea are still there for Casado. Next week, he will have new agents, the same agents as Ivan Francesca. But yeah, I think a little stumbling block on the deal, that's why it's not progressing, is that he's waiting for his new agents to, you know, that shows one thing to me, he's expecting to either leave this uh, month or next window. He's expecting a big money move, so of course, he wants to get high quality agents to get the best deal possible and that agent wants to get a bit of that money from the deal of course. From the secret scout talking on Casado, Chelsea pushing for Moises Casado next week they will aim to agree a fee with Brighton. Casado was Chelsea's main priority for that position. Well you would have said it was Enzo Fernandez, but you know we'll just forget about him but yeah Chelsea offered a 55 plus 10 million pound um, offer to Brighton which was somehow rejected. Uh, I think the highest please Todd Bowley just done go to 75 just go to 70 and if they don't want it we'll sign someone else please um with the midfield being even more of an issue with our lone players actually been playing well Zakaria being injured it's important that we get a January deal down Brighton obviously valuing very highly Brighton are playing excellent this year no thanks to Moise Casado but 75 million is a lot quite a bit of money but we've got the money no doubt it's just FFP we might be penalised very hard next year uh, with FFP but you know, if we've signed all the players, it doesn't really matter, does it? But yeah, let me know what you think about Casado. But moving on to the next story, speaking about another midfielder. I'm going to go to Jacob Spen, who has said, Chelsea have considered Weston McKennie and he spoke with Christian Pulisic about the club, but Moise Casado is still their top priority. McKennie's advantage is that he can play in lots of position. Juventus open for a sale. I think if we weren't going to get Casado, I think McKennie could be a good loan option. It's touted that we're linked with Frank Kessie as well, along with um, Edson Alvarez from Ajax, who of course we were linked on the deadline day move. That's the deadline day move I thought was going to happen, but it was a Zakaria instead. But yeah, just showing how Chelsea in the last you know couple of weeks of the window are going to focus on a midfielder, and a midfielder is what we want. But finally, I'm going to speak about the draw against Liverpool. And yeah, that's right, Chelsea have just taken a point. From the away trip at Anfield, 12.30 kickoff, but, you know, just a gripe with the game. Anfield, can you sort your pitches out? They must have absolutely wetted the uh, attacking botch when Chelsea were attacking, because uh, I don't know if um, Chuck Romeca is Bambi on ice, but he just kept on slipping. Loads of people, ZH was slipping all over the place. To think, like, if um, Chuck Romeca would have stayed on his feet, he could have had, like, a couple chances. Main takeaway is that it was a drag game. It looked like a ninth versus tenth, really. I think were we unlucky to get a point. I think we were better side, but realistically, you take a point against Liverpool. Although it's not the Liverpool we used to, we're not the Chelsea we used to, so you take a point. It doesn't really help either of the clubs. Three points would have been great. You know, move up to seventh or eighth. I know, crazy, but I'm going to focus on the positives. We got a point, but let's sing Mudrick's praises. 
I think I've got the same thing as Chelsea fans. Because we were like, yeah, Mudrick's going to Arsenal, This the links are so stupid. I didn't really look that much into Mudrick, so I wasn't that excited. But last week, signed him. I was excited all week to see how he played. Didn't start, which is annoying, but the 30-minute cameo was insane. Showed his pace. Not only his pace, um, his knowledge, his weight of pass was perfect. I don't think he misplaced one pass, which is insane. And yeah, I haven't seen someone dribble like that inside the Anfield box uh, since Hazard, so it was very exciting to have someone like that. And it made me fall back in love with watching Chelsea. Chelsea aren't been playing great, so you know, watching it hasn't been great, but it's something to get excited about, and I'm just annoyed that we play next in 13 days. But hopefully, he can train in 13 days, we can get... Well, Felix won't be playing, of course, but we can get Noni Madueke and our new signings involved for the next 13 days. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you tomorrow for more Chelsea Transfer News videos. See you then.